because there's nothing on the foundation. Yeah, there's another leak at the seam. I'd say that that's probably a homeowner maintenance item. Leaky gutters. Yes. Clean them out, seal them back up. Yeah. I'll be using a little caulking. Check the power is off. Okay. Is this fine where it's at, or should this be like sealed up? You think? This is missing the outside cover. Ah. So it it should have a cover put on it. I'm not in love with the way that it's leaning either. But no. No. Short of actually resetting the pole, I'm not sure how much you could. You might be able to put a guy wire on it and pull it back over. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, something like that. Get it away from that because that's. I don't think it's gonna fall over. Though. Nope. But it isn't gonna get any this, better. This should definitely have a cover on it. And there's a couple fasteners missing here. That should be there. And I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really going to open that up and look, but it looks, it looks like this, like maybe this isn't installed all the way or something. It needs to get pushed in a little bit. Uh-huh. Hard to say for sure. Oh, here's the cover. <laughs> that was easy. That's the cover. Yeah. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. There's a gas feed. What is this? Uh, this is a sub-panel. It's a sub-panel. Mm -hmm. This is actually... What you've got is, that's your main with the meter, and that main feeds this sub-panel, and this actually has all the circuit breakers for the house. Out here. This needs to be fixed, too. Yeah, I'd have PG&E guys come maybe repair the cover or replace the whole box or something. Yeah. Okay, so you're partially labeled. Could really use to get labeled the rest of the way, and could definitely use to have some... Uh, Get rid of the bugs. Oh yeah. Okay, so you got 125 amp service. That's your main right there. Mm -hmm. I was wondering about that too. Oh, it looks like they had a roof structure built over this, over the breaker box. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh -huh. I can see it, the outline. Yeah. And um, sometimes, if this gets a whole lot of sun, uh, it is sometimes possible with older grant circuit wiring for this box to get hot and cause the breakers to pop. But. I don't think that would be the case here. This should have copper wiring, which isn't isn't really susceptible to that. And what do you think of this? Is what over the? Hmm. I don't know what that is. It looks like they had maybe that was what a post was. I don't really know what that was for. Okay. And that's There's your gas. That's, that's your a clean out for the septic. Mm-hmm. That's your septic there. And that's a. That's a whole nother inspection there. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's, that's the water main right there. That's yeah, broken. There's one broken pipe. Sure enough. Or if that feeds out to something else. It could, yeah. Is it to cut off to the house or? It's hard to uh, say. We'll find out. Yeah, this is all very interesting. Good to know. Thanks, Bob. And I'm hoping to find out if there's a, also, I guess when they do the title and all, because I mean, I believe that's a rental. I wonder who's been paying the rent. Oh, back there? No, to this. Oh. 
you know what? When they when they lock them up, there's nobody's paying rent. Oh, that's oh okay. So what what happened? Um, I'll show you the lock here. What they do instead of just yanking the tank when it's unoccupied. Um, see how the this should have had a regulator on it here, uh -huh. and it should have had the flex line going over to here. So I see. It was, it was their regulator and their flex line, so they took it. Inside here is a special lock they put in here that makes it so that you can't get at the gas. I see. And it's um, and that's what they do to uh, make it so that nobody can steal it while they leave, and then they can leave the tank on site. Good. Instead Good of having to move it, because these things are really heavy when they're full yeah. gas. So this is fun. all good to know. Got some more gutter issues. Yeah. Nothing real major. It's that happens when uh, when they stay dirty a long time. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, they, the pine needles hold the moisture in there. Oh. And they rust out. Yeah, and those are a nightmare. Cosmetically, you could use a little bit of paint. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like right away. Yeah. Where this really gets rotty. This must be our... Uh, Probably a little caulking too, and then a paint. This must be our access into the sub area here. So I'll have to grab my screwdriver and open that up. Okay. But we'll do that later. That'll be the last thing that I do, because... Yeah. It's a... Uh, <laughs> it's no fun. <laughs> no. And that's the water heater, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at the water right. heater. I, yeah, I need to know if I need to strap it or something. Jan said before we were, as we were leaving that the... Looks uh, like it's strapped. The owner was going to come strap it. These straps are un, are not up to code anymore. Oh. So So there's actually going to be a, a wider strap. One here and one will be down here somewhere. So, but he's going to install those. So gas is off to that applying. We can't test that anyways because the gas is off. So okay. Okay. Well, very interesting. Any idea? Wet location. Oh, just another outlet. Yeah. Just outlet. Nice. That's a much better entrance to the sub area. That's oh yeah. Okay. Try to get some of this off. Again. This slide is not really penetrating. <laughs> Big ol' entrance, but how do they leave me a, a hatch? No. Oh, that's a good deal. This is fiber cement board, the skirting, which means that this stuff should never rot. Oh. So that's positive. Pressure wash it and paint it, and it should be good to go for a long, long time. Okay. Basically, uh, this is like the hardy siding. It's fire. It's made of cement, cement fibers, and a little bit of wood fibers all mixed together. Gotcha. But they say they guarantee this stuff for like 65 years or something. You have to check their website for specifics, but. Sweet. Oh, this must be where the TV was going in. This looks like TV here. Like they had a satellite dish. That's why there's holes. These holes go all the way through into the house. It's very nice. Yeah. That could have been from its original location, for all we know. Mm -hmm. It looks like it was just set here. <laughs> this place is built in 85, but... Oh, okay. They were wondering if maybe the sealed, some of these like, two plane had gone out or yeah. something. Looks like it's too foggy. Ones. One, two. They look like they have all got some condensation going on those sealed units. Yeah. But if it was an 85, 
I wonder if they were actually argon filled in there. They have that that vintage. Oh. They may not be argon filled, they may just be air filled, in which case they would condensate naturally. Huh. I see. I don't know, that's something something I'm not for sure about. But we'll make a note that there's condensation in these windows. Yeah. Okay, this is built over a stump. Or, and this is... Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got something coming underneath it. That's why it's kind of busting off. Yeah. And actually, this one, uh, this one board here is roasted. Yeah. That's pretty well shot. Like a new porch anyway, I think, ultimately. This overall feels pretty solid. Yeah. If it was mine, what I would probably guess is that you could probably leave these posts so you don't have to mess with the roof structure mm -hmm. and just rebuild around them. Yeah, okay. That's what I would be thinking about doing. Although I'd actually peel this all off and see how the frame looks. Maybe just new decking mm -hmm. would be enough. You never know until you start pulling the deck board back though what you're going to get. Visually, right from everything I can see here, it looks okay. But when I go underneath the house, I'll crawl out here and look underneath it. Take a better look. Well, and the stove. I'm somewhat handy. I looked at some of those things that would give me a clue, uh, but I don't think somebody lived in it alone. No. And look at the bookcase here. Yeah. I'm trying to think where that uh, bookcase from the family room might go. Yeah. I don't know, Rich. I don't know. I'm trying to think how big, you know? Yeah. We have to get a tape measure. This place doesn't need a whole heck of a lot. I don't know, Rich. Really, I don't. It's... If you're going to make this an office, you might be able to put it in here, but there isn't much room for it. No, that and I got another bookcase. I'll probably put it in the other one. And... Look in here now, see? Yeah. You actually have. This is the master, see? Uh huh. You can tell. It's got the. More likely here. Well, it's up to you. You can make either one the master, yeah. but this was originally designed yeah. as the master. Well, I want to see this part here. See what he has to say. Okay. Laundry room, dryer, electric setup. Mm -hmm. So we don't have power. Mm -mm. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to turn the main on so we can actually test all this stuff. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's power at the meter. So I think we can turn it on. Uh -huh. I don't see any obvious sign of a leak. Uh-uh, I don't see a little uh, corner board, you know, corner guard coming out a little bit. That could just be... That could be when they pulled we the We saw out. a little bit stains yeah. on the master um, yeah. ceiling on the master bedroom that looked like possibly... Oh, here's some <laughs> stains above this light. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that last time. Yeah, it looks like some water's been dripping on the ceiling right in that area. It's probably not good that the gutters have been clogged. No. Yet. But it may be more, so that's Maybe. the thing is we, we like to see if we can see what's going on with the roof. Yeah, I appreciate anything I can find out. Yeah, you gotcha. Looks like they tried to kilt it. A little stain blocker there, it looked like. Could be. I've seen a slight different color, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard sure. to say. Yeah, it's, over there too. Well, this is actually staining from water dripping on it. And this, uh, you know, the popcorn roofing is so difficult to paint. I hate that stuff. <laughs> you got pretty much got to spray it. You can't just roll it. Yeah, I know. I had to put it up. Don't like it much. Yeah, see, that shows a lot of wear here. So, well, I didn't see this first. What is this here? Cold Coleman? Coleman? This, this is the furnace. That's the furnace. Yeah. I think 
been so many years since they've seen anything like that. And I think I once had something like that. This is your furnace and, and uh, well, air conditioning if there is one, both together in one unit. Certainly you have a furnace and it looks to be operated on propane, which we won't be able to test this today because mm -hmm. not much chance of getting the gas turned on. Let's see where the filters are. Could be, or it could just be access for the ducting. The ducting? Yeah, yeah. I see. Because uh, what these usually do is they draft from the bottom and then they burn up and the ducting should pro should be basically, or no, am I all wrong about that? Now I'm feeling like I'm not positive. I'm not familiar with this exact type of furnace. Because it seems like this, this is gonna radiate heat and vent here. And then this looks like it grabs all the warm air and blows it down into this box right here, which is probably the beginning of the ducting, so maybe it heads out that way or hmm. that way. Interesting. Hard to say for sure. You probably want to get the furnace checked out by a furnace guy before you start using it. That's your fits on. In case. Yeah, I didn't even see it the first time it came through. Yeah. But then I didn't think he was going to buy this place. I was so shocked that you know I wasn't really looking that close. Well, you know how guys shop. Mm -hmm. She'd like to turn on the water too. Yeah, exactly. That was my I thought. Thought she was going to have it on. I yeah, I, I, that was the impression I had. It'd make it. Uh, it makes inspecting easier. It certainly does. But then again, we did see that one uh, burst uh, line out there. I mean, there's, oh, there's really? a PVC uh, yeah, pipe that's broken off. We don't know. What that means may, just yet may possibly be be the feed for the house. You can see now. Mm -hmm. Appears to be some discoloration up here. I see it. The closet and along this edge here, possible, uh, possibly a, a leak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, discoloration quite a bit on this mm -hmm. here, off and on, say different places. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It gets to be pretty impossible to test a lot of stuff when the services aren't really on. I know. I thought uh, she yeah. Do something when I told her the you know. This looks some discoloration in this area here. Yeah, we could see right here even the spot. Yeah, she said something about a burst pipe. But. But I don't know what that'd have to do with the roof. That wouldn't be up here, so yeah. First pipe that could be what we just saw out there. Yeah. Installed properly, the chances of rain getting on them is pretty good, you know, and causing trouble underneath the window framing. But you always see signs of it, so you look to be okay. Okay, there is a bathtub. This looks to be a fairly new unit. Mm -hmm. Newer than newer than the newer than the rest. More than the house, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty new. It, yeah. does, it does appear that, that it was not lived in hard. No. So maybe it was like a single person, like a single lady or something like that. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, well, my, my friends lived here for 40 years and she wasn't aware. She was wondering even if it had been lived in, if it was lived in somewhere else. And then maybe a little here, while. She didn't know. 
But yeah. she said she wasn't aware of anybody living in here for as long as she can remember. So okay, so it's been Obviously right somebody here. did live here mm -hmm. in it once upon a time. Yeah. Because you can see from the kitchen and especially. Oh, yeah. It looks, looks like somebody had lived in here, but they must have been a very light, you know, mm -hmm. kind of person. couple of little dings in the floor over there I just spotted. See, mm -hmm. I didn't really look at the kitchen when we were here. It's nice, isn't it? What? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Nice. A little yeah. bit of wear and a little Yeah, so, yeah. That's, a, that's not something I really put in the report. That's cosmetic. Right. You know, so here's the oven. Yeah. No microwave, so okay. No zapper. Those, no zapper. Is it nasty inside? I no, it's not oh, nasty. Oh. It's just it needs to air out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, okay. We won't know. When I see a ding over here, that's the first thing I oh, spotted. Yeah. So I'm, yes, somebody lived in here. Sure. Yeah, sure. I think that when that happens. Yeah, we can never quite match the color again. No. Right. <laughs> and I looked over here and I could see somebody made a real attempt to clean it up, but it has been used a little bit. And there's, you know, there's evidence of somebody living here. Okay. My goodness, I'll have to tell Susan that she was wrong about something. Oh, don't tell her that. Person who knows everything. Yeah. Nobody knows everything. How many but I bet she knows old is that dishwasher, you think? Uh, I'm suspecting that it's a 1985 model <laughs> that came with the place. Yeah. Warranty, definitely. <laughs> And they kind of look like a cross almost. You know, like maybe, yeah, they, maybe it's one, a long this one. This one, this one. Probably a bunch That's of four, unusual. A bunch of four foot fluorescents. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it a little more complicated, but not too bad, I guess. Okay. See, see, Rich? See. Here's the, yeah. here's the switch for the furnace control right here. Okay. So in the winter time, assuming that that unit works. <laughs> Um, you just set it and forget it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of little thermostat on the stove over here too. It's a wood stove, but I don't know what. Oh, that's it's an earth stove. Just an light. earth These stove. These are fantastic. Are they? This is a great stove. Well, something good. I'm so this glad. This is a wonderful stove. Yeah. Great. So the way that these work is you build the big fire in there and you get her all hot, and then. Uh, oh, I'm latching very well. Mm -hmm. uh, you actually, um, you can set. Where's the spring on this one? Oh, this one doesn't seem to have one. Let's do that. So it has to have a spring to work, or what? No. Oh, here's the draft control. Okay. You basically set this. This is your draft control here. And you set this for how much you want. And then you can actually, um, if you want to see the fire burning up, you push in this little knob. And if you want to have it burn longer, you pull this out. So like when you leave in the morning, uh -huh. leave the fire on and turn this guy down to low. And this thing will basically just smolder here all day long. Wow. That's good to know. These are, these are... Heaters are very efficient little heaters. Really? Great. Yeah. Yeah. Might need to replace the rope. Yeah, especially it's gone right there. Yeah, there's a bit of it that's missing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these, are, these have a really a good reputation for being excellent little yeah. heaters. 
and they, this part closes up real tight. And uh, my wife lived up in Strawberry Valley when she was a little girl. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And they didn't have electricity, and they used to cook on one of these. She related oh, wow. to the Bean family? No. Huh? <laughs> no, she's not. They're pretty. There's lots of beans. A lot of them out there. <laughs> they're, they're prolific folks, that's for sure. <laughs> Now, yeah, that's definitely a bad seal on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks well, like actually all of these. All of them, probably. Mm -hmm. Except for this one. This one looks good. I don't know. I didn't really notice it anywhere else. Now, are these double pane windows? They, they are. are. They are, yes. definitely, because you've got the seal that's gone on that one. That's what yes. we thought. Yeah, these are It's a really panes. early day. Mm -hmm. These are dual panes. They're, uh, yeah, there's. They're not as efficient as mo as a modern one, but they're they beat the heck out of single pane. They could be replaced in time. Probably not yeah. crucial. No, I wouldn't say so. Um, you know, they, they do reduce their efficiency when they're leaking because now you're getting cold air in between. Yeah, for sure. So, mm -hmm. um, and as it's well hard. As quite it's a really, pattern. <laughs> it's really hard to write, and it's all ugly too. Yeah, it's really hard to tell if the seal is broken inside or outside. So. Mm -hmm. but they really don't work as good. You can actually pull these windows out and take them down. There's a company in Marysville called Quicks Glass. They oh. have a replace the sealed unit. Oh. Yeah. And there be... Along with my patio door. Yeah. Slider. The one that's right. Yeah. So like all, all five of these that are bad, um, you could one at a time or take them down one and have them open it up and order the sealed units that you need mm -hmm. and then take them all down there and they can do it or they can bring them up here and do it here on site. Oh. And they'll actually pull the windows out and, and reinstall them. For that you. might be worth the expense. I mean, you'll have to talk to them and see. Mm -hmm. I'll have to talk to them. Yeah. And find out what the, what the damage would be. For well, <laughs> yeah. They'll, even, they'll come up here and measure the sealed units and order them. Uh -huh. But I, last time that I called them, they wanted over a hundred dollars to show up up here. Sure. Yeah, that's mm. typical up there. Yeah. So it was cheaper for me to take the window out myself and take it down to them. Yeah. And they're all identical. All of them. These, there wouldn't be any different. I mean, between here and here, I know we're different. But each one of the six up here. These appear to be identical. Identical. There's no. So I'm at, Half inch yeah, the thing is, I, I live like in Carmichael, and I'd have to come up. So I'm thinking it Maybe might be something. To, I'd think it something to think on. Yeah, well, I'm keeping my mind open. If you're, uh, if you could sneak away on like a Friday, you could come up and do it. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, but that's what I would recommend. That'd be that'd be less expensive than brand mm. new ones. Well, if, see what I. These are big ones. Too, they'd be well, what I'd like to do is make a list, and then I can prioritize them, and then just start checking them off. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, well, let's go it's check not out. a whole lot. Let's go check out the water situation. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we can figure out. Okay. Oh, I'll, okay, well, I'll stay here. And you can okay. <laughs> I was cleaning up dead flies, but they just keep coming in. So. Yeah, they're going to be joining them. What is that? I think that's their water. So we should have something that looks like that, right? That's what I'm thinking. We wouldn't be sharing it, would we? That wouldn't make sense. Not locked in there, 
so that's good. Mm -hmm. their meter because it's running. Mm -hmm. So they've done a good job of hiding ours. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, wow, it is hidden. Yeah. Nice to know. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty key piece of information for you there. Yeah. Alright. That's the shut off right there, this big guy right here. That's the whole place? Yeah. So, so I'd like to need that. a wrench, right? Or Yeah, I'll have to grab a wrench. It looks like it's... Weekend. See, I would, uh, hmm. that's interesting. It looks like it's off right now, but it's not locked, so we can all turn it on, which is always good. Let's see. Check this. But it's not locked. This thing should have a lid, but that's really the water company's responsibility. Mm -hmm. Well, once we sign up, they'll probably come and look it over. Huh? They should, yeah. Yeah, they will. They'll definitely be doing that. I better get a screwdriver. I'm going to break my knife on that one. Yeah. Nice to know. <laughs> You're looking for it. Also, it means that your property probably goes to that, so... Uh -huh. That's the edge of your property. It's not necessarily right here at the tree line, but it's another six feet or eight feet. Yeah, yeah that's something else we have to figure out. And this, is, some of this would be nice to clear a little. Eventually, once if the neighbor is, which never cleans up, but you might want to keep it clean. So, uh huh. Oh, well, here's the other one right here. Call me if they see a problem during the week. Yeah. Uh, it's because he can't. He still needs to work for a few more years. Sure. He, but he'll be here on weekends and holidays and, they, and whatever. And I get lots of vacation time. Been there almost 25 years. Oh, well, you should have plenty of vacation. Then. Yeah, yeah. So. This isn't poison oak right here, is this? Yeah, this you know? is all poison oak right oh, okay. here. But I'm kneeling. Yes. Are you okay with poison oak? Nope. I'll be going to the hospital a little later. Oh no. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> I haven't got, I used to have to go when I got poison oak, but not, not for a long time. Okay, that's just an extra. Yeah, leaves the three, let them be. Yeah, if, if I just get it on my pants, I'm okay. If I start touching it, that's going to get me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that should have, a friend of mine years that ago turned the meter on. So let's see. Soap. It's an old bar soap that's really a laundry soap. Sure. So you can go home and bathe in that, and it kills the oil that you touch, gets up, you know. Well, if I've, you do it right away. I have tried so many different things, uh -huh. including. Have you tried that? I've Fels tried naphtha. the Fells naphtha. It doesn't work for me. Oh, I've yeah. tried. Um, I've taken raw bleach and rubbed it all oh, over I where I to. got it, I and that to. didn't work. Hmm. And when I was a child, I was very allergic. So well, I hope you don't. I would do the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and my eyes would shut. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. You know, and I, I had to get that. walked around by, like yeah. like a dummy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Last few times I've got it, it's been like a normal reaction. Yeah, I'm, so. I'm getting better too. I've only had it once. It only lasts about three weeks. And that was like when I was practically rolling into stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, it just pays to know, I went though. to. A, I don't want it again though. <laughs> Could what do you think like Roundup or something get rid of that or? There's a special uh, version of Roundup that's for poison oak and poison okay. ivy mm -hmm. that I will really use. Okay, because yeah. this yeah. stuff's history yeah, then. Have it on my yeah, I'd get rid of it. Hell yeah. 
You can see it all along in here. Yeah. See all this stuff? This is all poison up in here. Yep, hate the stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure yet either. I'm saying that we can make an assumption that this post is probably an old fence. So you've got a little bit oh, of woods okay. encroachment in, but mm -hmm. without having it surveyed or seeing the plot map, it's hard to say for sure. Yeah, one more thing to look into. I would like to know exactly where the property lines are. Yeah. Yeah. That way I know if I'm getting cheated or if I'm cheated. Yeah, you don't want to cut down somebody else's tree and get in trouble over it. Well, you said it's a half an acre. What did she say it was? Huh? We should go back a little ways there. Yeah. There, we did see a mark. Look like we thought we yeah. looked like we saw one in the yeah. trees. Yeah. It's kind of where this open area was. We saw a marker back in here. Uh, we thought we did. I think we did. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to be sure. Yeah. It's possible that this fence line is is the fence line. That Maybe, yeah. Maybe, because you really are only half an acre, which is like 200 by 200 square, basically. Mm -hmm. Or like 50 by 400 deep. Or it's all fine, let's uh, work for me. We don't, we weren't sure. Just the way that the way that they generally seem to have clean, cleared yeah, this lot like was once makes me think this might be the actual line here. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's less work for you to worry about clearing all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Clear your fence lines, get rid of the stuff you don't like on your part, and mm -hmm. don't worry about Of course, that. if nobody's doing anything with it, I might do a little clearing. Yeah. I mean, so it doesn't be, catch on fire and stuff. It would be in your interest to do some fire break. You could probably find out who owns it and talk to them about that. Yeah. some work to do, Rich. Mm-hmm. What's your step? You I hope you don't need a new roof right away. Well, he's going to look at that, too. Oh, man. Yeah, I see that. The, there, we, we saw that PVC is broke. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's the water main. But let's go in the house and test before we make a full conclusion. This will all have to be, like, uh, you know, wrapped up and winterized, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think. Uh, so here's if the it was electrical here. Or mm -hmm. the breakers. Yeah. Breakers. Yeah, if it was mine to do, I would take. I'd actually drop this in about a foot underneath, dig a trench, wrap the whole thing in uh, insulation. Mm -hmm. And everything that's exposed, I'd double insulate. Okay, that's good uh, advice. Yeah. And when you go to be gone during the winter time, mm -hmm. what you'll want to do is shut off this valve and open everything in the house. And what that'll do is that as the water freezes, it'll allow it to expand. It can move. Yeah. And then it hopefully won't burst. This is your trouble. intake valve right here from the back there. That's, it doesn't go through the house and then here. It goes. Well, I want to check. Okay. Uh, but I'm thinking not because this has pressure. Okay. Which it shouldn't have pressure if it was after the house now that i turned on that water main yeah if this if the house had pressure i figured it'd be blowing out of here yeah yeah okay yeah uh, right yeah. so it looks like a branch fell on this or something something fell on it or it burst <laughs> it might have burst and just ran and ran for who knows how long well so that's all educated guesses, but let's go see if the water's on in the house. I'll take and, and a, I'll take one if it's educated. Yeah. That's the septic. <laughs> this right here. Yes, septic. yes the, it is. That's the black line. Wow, above ground. Huh? Yeah. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Not gonna freeze. Or... Uh -uh. Well, the important part's underground. <laughs> what ends up happening? This line doesn't have water in it all the time. It only has water flowing through it when you are using the facilities. Gotcha. So nothing can freeze in there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I'm, I really don't like having them exposed because the possibility of actually breaking the line exists. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were if you were back, like if a tree fell on yeah, it. Yeah, look how this pole's leaning. The whole thing yeah. is scary. You know, good, yeah, we talked goodness, about that. Goodness forbid, somehow this got cracked. Now you've got to fix your black line. 
And if it was buried, it'd be safer. Yeah. But it may have been, maybe the tank's not that deep, because that should be the inlet to the tank right there. So maybe it's not very deep, or, or they must have had some reason for doing it like this. Mm -hmm. But it's also possible that it was just laziness. <laughs> Yeah. That's laziness. a reason too. <laughs> Pure lazy. This is just loose laying here. That's yeah. the cover for the electrical box. For this one. Right here. This is your actual main feed here yeah. with the meter. And um, yeah, if you want to take a look and see. See something here. Okay. So this is your main breaker. This is the breaker that feeds that panel. Ah. Does that, that make sense? Yes. So let's and I'm documenting it. <laughs> so yeah. I... Let's see. Now let's go check the house. So Smart. These, these say that they're all on. So let's go inside the house and see what we got. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to check the house plumbing, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. Wait. I thought I heard something. Well, maybe it's not us. Let's just step. But that's nothing major. Yeah. Let's see, where's that? Surprise, that's all. Let's switch for this. Alright. One bulb on this chandelier. It's not it's too shabby. I probably have table. it back up at home. I have one almost like that. That ain't too bad. I'll start testing uh, more lights here. Should be a hallway light? Yes. It's over there, I think. There's one here. Maybe something else. No, I think it was flickering. Yeah. Oh, that, the other one. That, Try the, the other one. one. No. I just want to saw that one start to flicker. You're right. There it is. Just needed to warm up a little. Ah, you got no light, Rich. You got just a fan. Yeah. I got a lamp I can loan you until we... Oh, yeah. This is probably a switched outlet right here, because there's a switch on the wall right there. Mm -hmm. So one of these outlets is probably run by the switch. That's, uh, that's... This is all gravel, though. That's really nice. Skirt frame, bottom board is pressure treated. So it shouldn't really ever rot away. This is this has got to be one of the better double wide setups that I've seen. They did a good job, whoever installed this. Outstanding. A lot of times you get underneath these things and this bottom board was like dug for something cheap. And it's like rotting and the rot's going up and it's trying to go up into the house you know mm. and this one's not this one's in good shape they did they, they did just they're just solid on this this should be pretty maintenance free down here 